Con Ed customers are feeling the economic squeeze, seeing increases up to 300% in their gas and electric bills this month. City and state leaders are demanding an investigation, but the utility is telling CBS 2's Christina Fan these costs are out of their control. I opened up the bill on Saturday, and I, my first thought was this must be a mistake. When Alex Rivas opened his January Con Edison electricity bill for his three bedroom apartment in Long Island City, he was sure there had to be a clerical error. His typical $260 monthly statement nearly tripled to $746. I was actually out of town for several days in the month of January. Uh, reached out to a friend of mine who was house sitting to ask if he had like started a Bitcoin mine or an illegal marijuana farm. In Williamsburg, Adam Wiesihan's bill jumped from $200 to $400 for a 500 square foot home. All across the city, customers are distressed, baffled, and struggling to pay. We have a newborn, so we're going to have to make some sacrifices this month. Con Edison says the rising prices are due to increasing supply costs. A spokesperson told us the utility buys natural gas on the wholesale market and provides it to customers at the same price they paid. Current global events have had impact on the cost of natural gas. Natural gas is a major driver of electricity costs. I don't really understand how that's possible. Natural gas prices did not increase by 160%. City leaders argue the company should have safeguards in place to protect against market volatility. Over a dozen council members and state senator Michael Gennaris sent letters to the Public Service Commission demanding an investigation. We should ask who are their suppliers? What kind of contract did they enter into with them? Why is it that they allow for this kind of uh, dramatic cost shifts to occur. In a statement, the Public Service Commission told us it does not regulate commodity or supply prices. They are driven by global supply and demand. Families say until prices stabilize, they'll be forced to acclimate to chillier temperatures. In Long Island City, Queens, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. And Con Ed says it does have long and short term contracts with suppliers to try to reduce costs for customers. Utility says it expects lower prices in the weeks ahead.